I now have the privilege to present our guest of honor. Most people know Paul Anka as a music legend who recorded more than a dozen top 20 hits and appeared in movies and TV shows. But they may not know about his numerous philanthropic efforts. Mr. Anka has performed at fundraising events to help children in Russia, his native Canada, and other countries around the world through UNICEF. He serves on the board of a Los Angeles, I'm sorry, of a Las Vegas organization that helps people with intellectual disabilities and also headlined a benefit concert for an Arcadia Performing Arts Center. The entertainer became connected with Cal Poly Pomona through his friend and business manager, Mickey Siegel, a Cal Poly Pomona alumnus. Mr. Anka has proved especially generous to the university as well, serving as honorary chair of the campaign for Cal Poly Pomona and headlining the founder celebrations in 2003 and 2006, which raised more than $560,000 for the university. A Canadian native, Mr. Anker began his contributions to the music world 55 years ago with his first hit, Diana. It was his talent as a composer and lyricist that took his career to new heights. His work spans 125 albums in genres ranging from pop to jazz, to doo-wop. He has written more than 900 songs, and they have been performed well over 150 million times. Mr. Anka wrote, it doesn't matter anymore for Buddy Holly. Frank Sinatra's signature hit, My Way, She's a Lady, for Tom Jones, and co-wrote Michael Jackson's posthumous hit, This Is It. He penned the Academy Award nominee theme music and had a role in the movie, The Longest Day, alongside John Wayne, Robert Wagner, and Robert Mitchum. With his latest release from Sony, Duets, he has become the first artist to reach the Billboard Top 100 in seven consecutive decades. His music has appeared in more than 160 TV shows and movies over the years, including The Tonight Show, theme made famous by Johnny Carson. And Mr. Anka is a recipient of a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, has been appointed to the Order of Canada, and has received the prestigious Johnny Mercer Award at the 2008 Songwriters Hall of Fame. In recognition of his accomplishments as a musician, entertainer, and philanthropist, the Board of Trustees of the California State University and California State Polytechnic University, Pomona, are proud to confer upon Paul Anka the honorary degree of Doctor of Fine Arts. Thank you so much. This is such an honor for me. I must tell you, it's a moment in my life knowing that life is about moments and memories. And when someone said that they uh, would like to honor me with an honorary doctorate degree, my first thought was that famous line of Groucho Marx, who, when he was invited to join an exclusive country club in Beverly Hills, said, I don't think I would want to become a member of any country club that would have me as a member. <laughs> In that spirit, I thought if Cal Poly wants to honor me, it was probably a mistake. <laughs> or I can only assume that Justin Bieber was out of town this weekend. <laughs> but it turns out, however, Justin is in town. 
but they actually would rather honor someone who could drive to the ceremony by himself without getting arrested. <laughs> Once I realized they hadn't made a mistake, I thought, well, this is very nice of them, and I, I set out to learn more about this cherished institution, founded in 1938, and accommodating a student body of 20,000 bright, eager young citizens. Knowing they were about to give me something uh, rare and exceptional, I thought the least that I could do was to give them something in return. I thought I could do uh, like uh, Oprah did and give everybody a car. You get a car, you get a car, you get a car. But then I, uh, I read the internet that 88% of the students at Cal Poly already have cars. So that would be redundant, right guys? My next thought was to give the graduates the benefit of my life experiences in the hope that they could apply it to their own lives and make the path from college to real life less daunting. That sounded like a good idea, so I, I started going through some of my life experiences that might apply to you. The first was, write a simple song about a girl named Diana at 15, <laughs> leave high school, come down from Canada and record it in New York watch it sell millions of copies, and get you on American Bandstand. Well, that wouldn't help you so much. You're all over 15. You're not from Canada. Bandstand is off the air, and you can't leave high school because you're already about to graduate from college. What else can I tell you? Get to know Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack. Too late. They're all gone. Should I tell you I married a beautiful model named Anne and had five daughters named Amelia, Anthea, Alicia, Amanda, and Alexandra? Well, that was the only way I could ever get all A's. <laughs> but you guys are so smart, you've probably already done that the hard way, right guys? <laughs> I could see that my life lessons would probably not be much help to any of you because all of our lives are very individual, and what works for one person may not apply to anyone else but them. So what can I give you all that will make this day something special for us all? Well, the other thing that I happen to do, and I've been doing it for about half a century, is write. So I thought to myself, why don't I do that for you in the hope that I will convey my deep appreciation for this honor? And let you know how delighted I am you couldn't reach Justin Bieber. So here is my Cal Poly version of My Way, originally written for Frank Sinatra, but this is from me to all of you lovely people. Yes, there it is. Yeah, I think they can. You can hear me on this one good enough, right? Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to stay on this. Say hello to uh, Josh Sklar, my guitarist, everyone. Stand up, Josh. Take a look. To be your honoree of this degree here at Cal Poly, I must say to best convey my pride today, mere words are folly, and so it's apropos to let you know. And in no shy way, it won't take long to say in a song, I thank you my way. Yes, it's clear as I stand here with loved ones near, I'm feeling regal. Friends have come. Like my dear chum, your great alum, our Mickey Siegel. Give Mickey a hand. He's the reason I'm here along with the school. Yes, we see the generosity of Mickey and his wife, Lee. Give Lee a hand. She's a great, great lady. Theirs is a rare way to say thanks, I sing, but you could build a wing when they thank you their way. Because today is Father's Day. My son Ethan 
May I say the years fly by I'll turn around You'll be in your cap and in your gown With my hearing aid full blast God willing I'll last <laughs> to see it my way Thank you. And I will add, my mom and dad would have been glad. Oh, how they cheer it. And so, somehow I know, with pride they glow. They're here in spirit, by far, my guiding star, my parents are. My heavenly proctor, this degrees for you. Your dream came true. Your son's a doctor. <laughs> Two doctors, William and Ortiz. You put me instantly at ease. Dean Sharon Hillis, here's to you, to each one here. For all you do, for this fine school, Pomona's jewel, I thank you, my, my way. <laughs>